Hi there. <laughs> As you notice, I got I got a little I got a friend with me today. Uh, I don't want to look. You gonna are you gonna freak out? Is everything okay? Okay, I'm gonna. Luke, you, you you look at it. You look at the screen for me. Tell me if anything's scary or not, because I am uh, I'm a bit afraid. Okay, we'll start with the let's we'll start with the things I don't like. First of all, um, Natsuki rereads my poem. Uh, never mind. I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Oh well, fuck you then. Questions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it, and Gagu's did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon unless I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. <laughs> and Gagoos left my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands- oh shit, oh no. No, I'm about to get involved in this again! Wait, that's not gonna- Uh oh. Uh, you- you're just- Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Gagoos appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. How do, you, how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? Uh, I... No, if I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Uh, well, you know what? I was the only one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Gagoo started showing up. Natsuki. Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! Taking out your own insecurities on Earth like that, you really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Me? Look who's talking, you wannabe edgy bitch! Edgy? Sorry that my laugh so- Oh god, what the fuck just happened? Look, can you explain to me what's going on here? Oh god! What the fuck? Sorry my laugh so- Oh god. Oh, uh, see? Uh, just saying that proves my point. Most people don't get- Oh god. Oh god, I do not like what's going on. Why well, must be people... If you- Oh god, oh my ears! If you want to prevent the- Ah! Oh! My ears! Oh, careful, you might cut yourself on that end, Jerry! Oh, my bad, you already do, don't you? Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on! Let the goose hear everything you really think! I'm telling you, head over your heels after you after this! <laughs> Suddenly, you turns around me as I just saw that she was standing there! Kikus! She, she just trying to make me look bad! That's not true! She started it! Oh, I can turn it! Oh my god, what the fuck? Ah! 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 Oh my god! Ah! What the fuck just happened? Hi, Monica. How you doing? Um, hey, Gagoos. Why don't we step outside for a little bit, okay? Yeah, can we please do that? I'm a bit fu freaked the fuck out right now. Sorry about that. Uh, oh, you think uh, I'm a bit afraid? Especially of you? Because I'm pretty sure you caused that. Well, what the fuck happened back there? Right. Anyway, this makes you want to spend less time with the others. That's fine. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to make them unlikable. You sneaky bitch. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out the classroom. Oh, she's crying. She quickly runs away. Oh, dear. Well, it looks like they're done. Ugh. This is fucking with my head. I didn't mean it. I I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth on her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? Oh god! Fuck! I didn't mean it. I believe you. I had no idea what Yuri might have said Natsuki or did. Gagoos, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please, let me take that responsibility today. Kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just, I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Gagoos. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. Sigh. I guess I really don't have much of a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. But I... Oh, God, Jesus Christ! What the fuck? Oh, fuck! Can't do this! Ah! I fucking hate this! I'm not liking this, homeboy. I think I'm gonna head to that main menu, though. Cause I'm fuck- I'm freaked the fuck out. <laughs> uh, I can't do this. 
Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, I'm Gamer Goose, and we're back at Doki Doki Literature Club. I really don't want to do this again, but uh, luckily I have luckily I have Luke here, so I'll be fine. For the past couple days, entering the club room, the scene, the usual scene greets me. Oh God! Okay. Surprisingly, that didn't freak me out as much as it usually does. Welcome back, Kehus. Uh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little bit. For some reason, Yuri isn't even there. She's just... Boka! Oh, Fuck. Um... Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at a desk, and surprisingly, Monica isn't even here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm, and pull, uh, my arm and pulls me into the corner of the room. About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize now. I just... Oh, God! Fuck! Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah... Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Yuri is clearly taken back by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know that's stupid, but ca I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Looking at her like what? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday, I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said, and I'll do my best to stay out of control from now on. So... Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Eh? Uh -huh. Jeez. Oh god. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person that worries. Uh, I can't do that voice for too long. You're You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But Oh god, what the fuck? Nibble so cloth line sight lifeline and in receptively faultlessly offered oh God. What just happened right there? I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it. Basically it's about this religious camp that was turned to a human experiment prison. Oh. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse as they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to What? Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. When horrible things happen, it's not just because someone wants to be evil. Oh, God! <laughs> Dude, the bold text is starting to freak me out now, too. But because the world is full of horrible people, and we're all worthless anyway, then suddenly... Uh, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then, but I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I learn things like books and writing fill my thoughts, Fuck. In fact, I might as well get started reading it. Ah! Hey, Yuri, this might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. <laughs> oh god, that's a weird ass face that she's making. No, no, I don't relate to this character at all. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that, that's a weird face that she's making. I don't like it. Uh, it makes me uncomfortable. It looks like she's about to go psycho. Oh god, the purple hair isn't helping either, but that's easy, but the one. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way that she second guesses things she says and all that. Ah. Oh, stop looking at me. That's weird. I think your breathing is a little. My breathing. Yuri puts her hand on her chest as to feel a heartbeat. Uh, I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just needed some water. Okay, don't push yourself. Oh, this is where the scary stuff happens. I don't want to go here. <laughs> Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Get goose? Did something happen just now? Eh? I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. But anyway, you want me to read my poem now? I kind of like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Uh-oh. Save me. The colors, they won't. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, oh no. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop! Violent gr gr grating worm worms, uh, screeching, piercing, saying cause a tangent, uh, like playing on a chalkboard on a uh, like uh, playing a knife on a breathing. What? <gasps> okay, maybe I was wrong. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, uh. Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. 
Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find your- Oh, yeah, you already told me this. Did it finish you? Dude, like, out the corner of my eye, it looks- Everyone looks- Don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um- Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Any- Please help me. What the fuck? What the hell is going on? This is getting weird. Like it hasn't already, but uh, that makes me so happy. It it's amazing. It's so amazing to feel like I'm valued. Giggle. Oh god, her eyes are doing the weird thing again. Uh, everything that you write is like a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. Uh, I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, Gigus? I'm not being weird, right? I don't know why you ask my opinion. You you I, I don't know. I'm having a harder time than usual at concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed. But right now I want you to just read my poem too. Okay? A rotating wheel. Already- Are these stains? Are there stains on this poem? Haha. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little bit ha hyperactive today. Lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Uh, that, that, that is, a, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I, um, I just really like the way that it writes, so I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. Uh, uh, I'm okay. What, what did I just, can we pretend this conversation never happened? Nasty. You have unlocked this special poem, would you like to read it? Oh, I already got this one! Uh, but I'm so scared. Okay. It's I love you again. Oh god, what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, everyone, we're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something to. I'm not the only one who's hearing the weird-ass gut noises, right? Okay. I need a break. I need a break. I'm gonna leave this here. Because I got disturbed again. I need to stop getting disturbed. Because, like, <laughs> that's the main reason why I'm ending these videos. Well, like, it's kind of hard not to whenever I, it just happens a lot. Well, I got a lot of stuff. The hell? It's like the word horror during a poem game. Huh. I got a cool new background, and now I'm going to use that. That's cool. Well, uh, I guess I'll see everyone later. See y'all. Boop.